Welcome to this MOOC, Designing Climate Neutral Buildings and Transport. This MOOC is the second in a series of MOOCs on designing a climate neutral world targeted at the next generation of policymakers, sustainability consultants, or professionals and students from other fields who want to introduce themselves to climate change mitigation strategies. Your teachers for this MOOC are Miriam Harmelink, that's me, who will be lecturing the first two weeks on buildings, and Natalia Barboer, who will be your teacher in week three and four covering transport. What can you expect from the contents of this course? In the first two weeks, we will be covering the building sector, including residential as well as non-residential buildings. In week one, we will look into depth into energy use and CO2 emissions linked to heating and cooling of buildings. In most world regions, these activities are responsible for the main part of the CO2 emissions caused by buildings. In week two, we will investigate the electricity use of appliances, equipment and lighting used in buildings. Besides, we will investigate the potential use of the large amount of data produced these days to make buildings more climate friendly. And finally, we will dive into government policies that are implemented to stimulate the uptake of measures to reduce CO2 emissions of buildings. In the last two weeks, we will be covering different transport sectors. Week three will cover transport emissions and decarbonization trends, and will show how these vary across the world. Furthermore, we will cover two sectors in more detail, aviation and freight. In week four, we will focus on passenger transport, and you will learn about emission factors, energy intensity developments, impact of a carbon tax, as well as how to perform calculations to assess environmental benefits from new policies. What do you need to know before you start this course? In principle, you can follow this course without having taken the introductory course Designing a Climate Neutral World, an introduction. However, we do expect you to have basic knowledge on some few concepts covered in the introductory course. You need to be familiar with the different energy usage units that are being used, calculation of CO2 emission factors, the energy system, what are the different elements of the energy system, and the difference between primary and final energy consumption. You furthermore need to know what indirect and direct CO2 emissions are and need to be able to explain scope 1, 2 and 3 emissions. You furthermore need to know how specific energy consumption is defined and how this relates to efficiency improvements. Finally, you need to be familiar with the concept of specific abatement cost. If you are not familiar with these concepts and terminology, or if you want to refresh your memory, please watch the videos from the introductory course. We hope you enjoyed this MOOC and look forward to seeing you next week.